When you want to implement a homomorphic program, uh, usually what happens is you have to create some sort of uh, circuit, you know, a graph of homomorphic operations. If you want to use the original version of TFHE, your graph is just going to be a Boolean circuit. So every node is going to be effectively a Boolean gate. Uh, if you're using CKKS or, you know, a BFV, every node is going to be an arithmetic operation, a multiplication or an addition. With Zama, because we've got this new idea of programmable bootstrapping, some of those nodes could actually be functions themselves that you evaluate on the ciphertext. And so rather than representing your program as you know, an arithmetic circuit or as a Boolean circuit, you can represent it as a functional circuit, a combination of you know, additions, multiplications, and functions on the ciphertext. And this, in fact, when you think about it, is just like a neural network. So a neural network is just a very specific, well-structured example of a functional circuit. It's additions and activation functions. You can generalize that to any kind of program. So it turns out that functional circuits are effectively a new paradigm for programming homomorphically that is easier to understand for a developer because you're no longer thinking in terms of addition and multiplication, you're thinking in terms of combining functions. Okay, I, I understand that. So so let's just play that out just a little bit more. You know, what are the immediate capabilities, the immediate opportunities you see with that additional capability? Um, machine learning is a pretty obvious one. Uh, because the ability to represent a neural network as a functional circuit and compute those activation functions means that we can take an existing network that you're already using in your product and without you having to change anything about it, we can convert it into a homomorphic neural network that can do encrypted machine learning effectively. This is really, really important because thinking about adoption, the easier it is for someone to bridge between non-encrypted and encrypted worlds, the more likely they are to be using your technology. And so beyond the library, beyond concrete, beyond you know the crypto itself, we're also working on providing tools for people to do that as effectively as possible, even if they know nothing about a homomorphic encryption. So the way this works is very simple. There is a compiler. The compiler takes your neural network as input, produces an optimized, secure functional circuit as an output, and then you've got concrete that can run it on your server and you're done. And that's it. There is nothing you need to think about in terms of manually writing your circuit. You just give your neural network as an input and you're running the output of the compiler in concrete and that's it.